welcome back to all of my cool cats. Bella's adoptive birthday was two days ago. She's the baby of the family, right? Today I actually have a requested video. Thank you so much for requesting it. We're gonna be talking about how to properly take care of cats. Not only am I a vet tech, I'm also mother of three cats. Jump, good girl. Sophie's cat, oh my god, that's Bella. You could just tell that's Bella. So this is Sophie. She's the oldest one and the grumpiest one. And Kissyfur is kind of like the most mature one. She just watches. Kissyfur is the middle child. She's so grumpy right now. Borderline animal hoarder, but you know, trying to control these urges. Um, Anyhow, let's get started. First, I'm gonna talk about what I feed my cats. Food is an extremely controversial topic just because everyone has their own opinions. Different veterinarians will tell you different things. I personally use Royal Canin Feline SO. I've used it on Sophia for four years because she does have a history of crystals in her urine. I just got the other two started on that same diet just because it makes it easier because they literally are little raccoons and they steal. My experience with this food, I haven't really had any problems. The only thing is that it causes them to drink uh, more, which means they literally pee a million times a day. But that's how the food works, so you can't really get mad at that. One problem that I have heard is people complaining about their coats being dull when they're on that diet. I personally haven't had any problems with it. I do use the supplement though. This is an omega essential fatty acid supplement and it also has vitamins. According to your cat's weights, you apply one or two pumps onto their food and voila, you get beautiful coat. In addition to that, I have some greenies. The cats kind of go crazy, so be warned. I have to hide them uh, because the cats go crazy when they hear it. Hi, you want some? Let's go back here. So the three cats really like the treats. I don't give them very many. <laughs> here you go, Sophie. You can have that one. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So greenies have actually been approved by the Veterinary Oral Health Council. Another item I think is extremely useful is feel away, especially if you have other animals in the house or other cats in the house, because it can be stressful. Cats are solitary animals, so they would ideally do better in a house where it's just them alone. But you know how it goes, you have to rescue and save every single one. All right, sorry about that interruption. The cat's almost knocked off the camera. So the next thing I'd like to talk about is grooming. Grooming is super important, especially since one of my cats does have longer hair. So for the most part, what I use is this brush. It's a safari brush. I purchased this one off of Chewy.com. It was literally $4. Just gets it all out and it's magical. I love it. While we're at the topic of grooming, one controversy that I see quite a lot is the idea that you shouldn't give cats baths. Personally, I think emergencies happen every once in a while and I'm sure the day will come in which you have to at least bathe your cat once. Sophia actually not too long ago had to get a bath, like two days ago actually, because she had a dingleberry. She had a dingleberry dingling around back there. I give her an emergency bath and she's already quite the grumpy cat so I can't imagine if she wasn't used to baths. Uh, how? Um, interesting that experience might have been. You can also try body wipes. I haven't personally used them, but some people like them, so you could try that. I have three cats, so I think it's super important for every cat to have their own personal space, just in case any conflict does occur. One of the cat trees that I recommend, which is pretty cute, it's not too tall and it doesn't take up too much space. I have it still in the box, but I've purchased it previously, and I'm a fan. I also have a couple smaller ones scattered around so that they can literally claw wherever they please. And now to my favorite part, your litter boxes. <laughs> this rule of thumb that I don't know who came up with, but I think it makes sense. It's one litter box per cat and then an extra litter box. So if you have one cat, you should have at least two litter boxes. If you have two cats, you should have at least three, so on and so forth. So I have three cats, so I should have four litter boxes in my house. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below what you want me to do, because I'm making vet tech vlogs. Uh, that's just my thing, but what else do you want to see? I got it all. I hope you enjoyed and may your life be filled with lots of cats and no furballs. balls.